hello and welcome back in this part we are going to create our first sheet metal components inside the assembly to create a new part you can either select this create part in place inside the assemble panel or you can use the radial menu and select this button create part in place i will use the radial menu for that and on the screen you have this dialog box create part in place option which has peer and the command bar inside the create part in place option dialog box you have several group of radio button and the first group of option define where to save the newly created part so you can either save to the active assembly location or save to the last location we will keep active assembly location next we will want our part to be grounded that means that the part will be fixed inside the assembly the next step is to define the origin of the new part so we can have the origin coincident with the assembly origin this is what we want for this tutorial or you can either define the origin with an offset from the assembly origin this is useful in some situations or you can define the origin by graphic input as we did when we created a coordinate systems for our profile sketches next we have the create in place group so this will determine in which environment solid edge will be when the part will be created so you can either create the component and stay inside the assembly environment or create the component and jump in the part or the sheet metal environment to edit the component for the time being we will keep this option and now we can select ok in the command bar we have this set of options the, the first button is the option dialogs so if you want to make some change you can select the option button first next is this list of templates to be used for the newly created part so we have the iso assembly template the iso workman template the iso part template and then the sheet metal template we are going to use this template for our sheet metal part and if you can find the template in this list you can always select this pros for template button and you will be able to select a different template for your part but we are not going to do that in this tutorial so we'll click cancel and the next step is to define the material so we have a list of material and what we are going to select is this steel structural and here we have the ground option we defined earlier in the option this one we have the origin placement that we define in this step so coincident with the assembly origin so you can change all that in this command bar you see you have the offset from assembly origin again input by graphic input again and we have the option to edit in place or to stay in the assembly so you can click to deactivate or click to reactivate and then to finish we have this screen check to accept and define the location and the name of the part so because we will create our first part from sketch 2 to sketch 3 we are going to name it 2 3 and then hit save and and as you can see we are in the synchronous sheet metal environment there is a new part in our assembly okay so now what we are going to do first is to switch from synchronous to an other mode so we are going to go back to the traditional modeling environment by hitting this button now you can see this bar is now labeled order and you can see this as well in the title bar okay to create our sheet metal components what we are going to use is the lofted flange tool so the first step is to define 
our cross sections so we can define our cross sections either by selecting geometry from an existing sketch or selecting part edges or drawing a new sketch inside a coincident plane a parallel plane and so on okay so because we have the sketch already defined in the assembly we are going to keep this option now we can select this a chain of edge or geometry or a single geometry we will keep chain and now we have to select our sketches as you can see we cannot select nothing and this is only normal because in our part we have no geometry what we are seeing in the graphic area are sketches inside the assembly but not inside the part so what we need to do is to have these sketches inside our part in order to use the lofted flange tool to create our sheet metal component so we are going to do cancel and second cancel to exit the command and then close and return to go back to the assembly okay now we want these sketches inside our part we draw them on so we are not going to do the work again what we can do is to use this copy sketch tool so this tool will allow us to copy the existing sketches inside our assembly to each part so we will launch the copy sketch the first prompt is to select the sketch we want to copy so i'll select sketch 2 now we have this dialog box and we have to select the part or the target where we want the sketch to be copied into so it will be this part and we make sure that you have this link to file selected and then ok we are going to do the same for the second sketch again we launch the tool copy sketch select the sketch we want to copy and then select the part we want to copy the sketch into and then hit ok now we are going to edit this part so when you select the part we have this mini command bar and we have two options edit definition or edit in place we will use this edit in place option and now you can see inside the part we have two sketches this one and this one okay so let me hide the sketches inside the assembly and now these two sketches displayed are those inside our part and you can see in front of this sketch you have a chain icon and you have also this folder named links and if you expand you can see that the first sketch in our sheet metal component is linked to the sketch number two of the assembly and the sketch number two of our part is linked with sketch number three of our assembly so now on we will have to have a look onto these icons to make sure that the link is always active so when we will update the geometry inside our master sketches the geometry inside our copied sketches will update as well okay okay now again back to the lofted flange tool we select it again lofted flange now we can select the sketches so i will zoom in so we can see what we are going to select clearly okay the first sketch will be this one so before we select anything let's make sure that we clearly locate where is the starting point of our cross section sketch so as you pre-select the arc you can see there is a dot at the end point of the arc this dot represents the starting point of the cross section so we will hit the arc to select it and right click to accept the selection now we we select the, our second cross section sketch 
and as we pre-select the second arc you can see there is a green line the green line defines how the two cross section sketch will be connected so if you select the wrong side your geometry will not be correctly connected so make sure that that the two starting point will be in the same side okay so i will select it right click to accept and now we have to define the display side that means the side where the material for the part will be added so it will be this side and we make sure that we define the proper thickness we will enter 12 millimeters and we make sure that the arrow is still pointing outside and we will click to define and create the material then right click and cancel now we have our first sheet metal components created we will move to this close and return button and return to the top assembly as you can see the first part is in place and properly positioned 